Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. Today, we're going to look at the headlines on Cointokyo and then、uh, have a couple of stories I want to look at even closer, a little bit, dive down a little bit deeper. The first one here is Tron. Of course, Justin Sun is doing a great job at creating buzz. He recently tweeted that there is a big announcement coming. Everybody,、uh, Thought it could be Alibaba, but I don't think so because it's a partner that does tens of billions of US dollars, and Alibaba is doing more like $400 billion. So chances are it's with Baidu, maybe. Baidu is、uh, the number one search engine in China, they have the majority share in terms of、um, the market. So if that is the case, huge partnership for Tron. All right, this is about Ethereum. Ethereum actually was going to do a fork. It's called a Constantinople,、um, what was it? The Constantinople upgrade. And there is a little bit of a delay. This article here is about Bitcoin. It talks about kind of the sideways movement in the pricing. This is about Ripple.、Um, this is a, yeah, this story's been covered pretty. Well, in the West, it is with Corey Johnson. He's talking about moving value across borders、uh, and the Interledger protocol, which is able to stitch together all those layers. So I think this, this article was yeah, very well covered in the West. This is another、um, XRP article in regards to the Weiss. Ratings. So we'll look a little bit closer at that story. Here we have、uh, again another XRP story that talks about the importance of liquidity. And that liquidity、uh, is mentioned with an interview with the Citibank、uh, employee that took place at the Digital Money Symposium with Marcus Treacher. And At the bottom of this article, it does also have a quote from SBI Holdings because SBI makes、uh, note that these banks,、um, the larger banks, like、uh, what he has, they have to offer a lot of the financial services, the solution for liquidity. And he says it's so expensive for them. So to hold up all that. Um, money in the Nostro accounts. He's so happy to not have to do that. And that just shows that XRP really is providing a real case solution for these banks. Okay, this is about Via BTC. Via BTC is, ah, this is a, this is a mining group.、Uh, yeah, the interesting thing is. They were able to raise 30 million. This is 3.3 billion yen. So that's about 30 million US dollars. They did it in two hours. That's fast. Okay. This is Buy Box. Buy Box has a little bit of drama happening. The、uh, co founder and I believe a woman employee, they are suing each other. It's just kind of. A big mess. This is another XRP story. It's about how the price was able to recover slightly after it had such a bad uh, pricing uh, action on the 11th.、Uh, this is again another pricing article on Bitcoin that it just keeps continuing in that same range. This is an- another additional、uh, article about Ethereum and its. Fork. Okay, this is the SMS company、uh, that offers an application where you can send BCH with just a text. So it's very, very handy.、Uh, it's a company that's called Cointext.、Uh, so they originally came out with the support of BCH, but now they are adding. Litecoin and Dash. It's very, 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 very convenient.、Um, mm, it's so easy. You don't have to、uh, do all of that wallet business. Okay, this one is a very domestic article. It's about Rakuten. Rakuten is the Amazon of Japan. 
they have the number one ranked favorite credit card in Japan. And the reason why is because of the points and rewards that you get holding the card. So remember yesterday we talked a little bit about what happens if we had a um, a stable coin that gave you um, the ability to spend in rewards and points. That is a big deal here in Japan. And so uh, to get ranked number one is also uh, newsworthy. All right, so we go down to Bitmain article. Uh, there is a gentleman involved in this mining group that reached the 95th position on a ranking in China. You know, the mining and exchanges have made some very rich people in China. Uh, this is again the Weiss Ratings article with XRP. This is a Gemini article. Now, Gemini was going to add Litecoin and also, uh, what was it? Uh, Litecoin and also BCH. Okay, but they put the brakes on BCH. BCH is, has a little bit of uncertainty in regards to its um, community wants to fork. And so, uh, Gemini is going to hold off and wait just a little bit, but they went ahead and added Litecoin. Uh, this is Justin Sun again with his um, announcement, how it drove the price up 8%. And this is an article that names nobody as the source. So I'm a little, you know, always unsure when I see those kinds of articles an anonymous source uh, has said, but the anonymous source has said in this article that India is going to launch its own um, virtual currency. So it'll probably be tied uh, to their native currency. And I thought the interesting thing is that they are going to name it after the goddess of wealth. So the rumor is. And here is that goddess. Her name is Lakshmi, and she is the goddess of wealth and beauty. You can see her pot of gold coins here, and I think it's quite, quite lovely. Glad to see that there's a goddess associated with that. And okay, back to the headlines. The second story we'll look at in more depth is this one here. I think you're going to find this very interesting. This is about social tipping using the NEM uh, platform. It's a company that's in Japan and they are going to roll out globally. And I, I've, I've, I think you'll find it very interesting. Okay. And then wrapping up to the last, what, four stories, we've got the um, XRP story that is uh, just a recap on um, the Interledger protocol. This is BitThumb. BitThumb, you know, is an exchange in Korea. It was just recently purchased by a group in Singapore. Uh, Coinbase lost one of their employees and has that employee has moved over to BACT. And then this is, yeah, about pricing again with Bitcoin in regards to the actual uh, day's chart for the 12th of October. Okay, so let's look a little bit closer at two of these stories. The first one is about Weiss rating. So Ripple uh, sees its XRP coin uh, got the most votes for the best currency under a dollar. Basically, it's a good buy. So the poll was conducted on October 11th and uh, registered 5,726 votes, which is almost half of the Weiss rating followers on Twitter. That's amazing. So they have just a little over 10,000 followers, but 50% of those followers uh, voted. And you can see here Stellar got 8%, Cardano got 25%, XRP got 64%, and IOTA got 3%. So that's kind of fun. Okay, this is a basketball team. It's a B league team. So they call it the B Corsairs. Corsairs, of course, is 
pirates. Yokohama, which is very close to Tokyo, just so close. I mean, you're just there in a matter of minutes on the train. It is a port city, and it's where the, um, uh, gosh, the military from United States and the UK and France and I, I'm sure a couple of other Western countries, they were circling inside of this bay at the time when Japan was struggling whether to open up the country or stay closed. So that was in the um, mid 1800s. And Yokohama is famous for in this area being one of the first places that allowed foreigners to live. So it, it has a very rich maritime history. And that's why you see uh, this basketball team uh, being named the Corsairs. So you can also see, as I've talked about in some fluff stories in the past, that everybody has a character. Uh, I think I even showed you the characters that are with the police in Japan. But this is the Yokohama character. He has a wavy kind of sea blown hair and he is born from the sea. Uh, his name is actually the kanji character for Umi or Kai, which can mean uh, beach or um, sea. And yeah, he is uh, also designed by the same character who's had a hand in Hello Kitty. Now, there was it's, it's a woman who originally created the very first Hello Kitty character, but then there is a gentleman, because Kitty-chan, as she is called in Japan, has had some um, updates to her look over the years. So the gentleman that has played a part in the development of Hello Kitty is the person who designed this uh, beach boy character. All right, now let's take a look at exactly what this is in regards to the story. So on the NEM platform, there is a Japanese company called Ngate. Ngate allows fans to really engage with their team or their uh, most favorite player. And it's not just basketball. It can be, um, they're working with many teams in Japan. So it's social tipping. And if you have, uh, you can see how it flows here. The fans buy tokens with yen and then using your application on your mobile phone, you can watch that game live. And if your player or your, say your player does something fantastic, makes a, a, a great play or, or scores, you can send that player tips or gifts. And it's, it's all live, it's really great. So eat, whether you're at, watching at the stadium or you're watching on your phone, you have that uh, shortened distance between fans, teams, and athletes. It's, it's just brilliant, I think. And then if the team or player wants to gift back to the fan, that's done as well. One of the favorite or one of the most popular gifts back to a fan is to allow a meet and greet. So that is, I'm sure, a big thrill for people who are following their favorite players. Okay, so it's built on the NEM technology and it's one of the reasons why also NEM is very, has a very, very, very active community here in Japan. And how could I not show you the Corsair cheerleaders? <laughs> so here they are, they're all very, they're very beautiful. And they're in their kind of sexy pirate uniforms. Yeah, with their red go-go boots. What do you think? I like it. All right, uh, talking about throwing coins. So this is your fluff story for the day. This is a mm, Japanese symbol for wealth. His name is Dai Kokoten, and he 
uh, is known for his big ears. So it's funny in Japan, if you have big ears, you're considered lucky. Uh, he has a wide face and a big smile, kind of this flat black hat and a golden mallet. And out of the golden mallet, he can throw coins and he throws lots of coins. He's jovial. He loves the ladies. He likes uh, children as well and is known to bestow gifts and all around a good guy. So if you uh, want to have gifts bestowed upon you, find Dai Kokuten and maybe it'll happen. Okay, everybody, that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for taking the time and uh, see you soon. All right, sayonara for now. Bye-bye.